I'm in Helen, and that's the city park. And it says that they don't allow tents, and they don't allow um, tarps, and they don't allow football, and they don't allow volleyball. And I'm thinking, so what do they do? Just sit there in the park? It's a pretty park. It's a nice day for a walk. I'm here at Unicoi Gap starting my day. There's a car. And um, I ran into Trail Magic to start the morning. And uh, so, go ahead. Hello. Hello. I'm going to get louder. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are from Gainesville. Gainesville, Georgia. Yes, we're just yeah. here. And, you, and you're hikers that just wanted to do this. Right. Isn't this great? I just love it. Thank you so much. Enjoy it. Yeah, thanks. This is coming out of Unicoi Gap, and uh, whew. it doesn't show how steep it is. It's really steep. This is where I'm going. Here's the hill. Of course, it was always up. And that's the way I came. I met a nice lady from Toronto. She's going to be coming back down. And uh, she says she'll see me again, so that's kind of neat. It doesn't look very scary but it's really deep in there <laughs> so it was a little scary Ooh. and then the fog She was born in the spring of her 62nd year, coming home to a place she'd never been before. Well, actually, kind of was 97. Uh, this is Rocky Mountain, and I'm almost to the top. Just past Shaggy and somebody else. I didn't catch their names, but they were kids. It was pretty cool, like maybe 10. Years old? That's pretty cool. Well, I thought I was at the top of Rocky t Rocky Mountain, but I'm not. And look at this tree. It's like hollowed out inside. It's so creepy. I wonder what was in there. But that one over there is too, so it must be part of part of this one. I don't know why they would I don't know, it's creepy. And this one. Over here, I wonder what's in there. And I wonder why it takes me so long to go anywhere. Ooh, I should turn the light on and see what's in there. I don't know how to turn the light on. There it is. Okay. Ooh. Fog over the mountains. You can't really see the mountains, Leanne. <laughs> she wants more views. So, this is a 360. And uh, I have no idea what's around me, except there's the trail going that way. A man just passed. And uh, another group filled my water ball up again for the second time. They were coming up and then they were coming down. <laughs> so, this looks like a great place to camp, but it's early still, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, 
All right, Leanne, this one's for you. I don't know what that mountain is over there. But it's awful high. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> that was good. Good catch, Mom. Okay, let me see. How do I unzoom? Ah, there we go. Okay, now we're regular. Oh, hold on tight. Fir trees. We are up high. I don't know what the... Oh, somewhere on Rocky Mountain. On the north side. Oh. Here's a trail soaking wet rocks, which is very, very slippery. Did I say earlier that I had fallen? And uh, look at these pretty little flowers. Um, I don't know if you can even see them. Let's see if I can zoom in on one. They're purple. <laughs> purple with little yellow tiny things on them. And, uh, oh, that's a beautiful day. Well, this is lunchtime. I am sitting, ah, sitting on a rock. And, um, it's looking over a cliff. And, um, it's a beautiful view, but it looks like clouds are coming in. And, um. I'm still high enough where there's lots of pine trees, and there's a trail. And I'm sitting on this great big granite rock here. Um, I guess I'm still on Rocky Mountain. I'm uh, almost a Trey Mountain, and um, I just thought maybe I would try filming some of the trail because <laughs> it's flat for a change all day long it's been icky so I'm just using one pole and uh just so you can see oh heck there that's better sorry there was a lady from Toronto that I met earlier today and she's supposed to be coming back up this way. She goes to the top of Trey Mountain every weekend and she goes up and down Rocky Mountain and comes back. And I'm like, she, I just couldn't believe it. She goes, well, I'll see how far you get. And she told me where to stay and uh, like for tonight. And I think I can get there. It's only a mile from here. And uh, if it's all like this and not those horrible steps like I fell and the trail is dry, so that's pretty good. But anyway, so um, it's kind of nice. These rocks are not, are not tall enough to sit on, so I don't sit on, on rocks like that. I sit on real tall ones that are, okay, this is roots, I'm trying to get without falling. And there's a cliff over here, of course, with trees that have fallen down. And, um, I just met a guy who gave me some water from my pack, from my back, because I can't reach the top of it to reach it and fill up my Gatorade bottle. So, uh, I put a mi margarita mix in a little while ago. So, it's, uh, lime day. I think I'm going to have spaghetti for supper tonight if I get there early enough, or maybe not. Oh, here. Now I gotta really watch this here. If I drop anything, I'm dead. Uh, Trying to do the hills and the stairs. Okay, well, here comes some boulder scramble, so I'm going to stop. So something that's kind of exciting to me is um, these are wooden uh, steps down there is um, rock ones. But these ones, somebody has taken the time to grate them so that we can not fall. And somebody's coming, so I'm going to stop filming again. Well, these are the type of rocks that I fall on all the time because they're just too high and they're very, very steep. And although they're probably better today, they're dry than they were this morning on the other side of the mountain. But um, the other ones are much nicer. And these are, I mean, it's pretty. What can you say, you know? Oh, I'm out of breath. <sighs> I had an exciting lunch, 
Uh, I'm here at Indian Grave Gap, um, 1.7 miles to Trey Gap, which is on the other side of the mountain. I'm hoping to make it to the Cheese Factory site. But anyway, yeah. And of course, we're going back up again. So while I was coming down off a Rocky Mountain, um, mountain, <laughs> Rocky Mountain, mountain, um, there was a uh, lady who came up behind me, and it was Ramblin' Rose. So now I'm with, well, she's not, I guess we'll camp together. Uh, her and two knees are saying that they're slow. But um, nobody's as slow as me. <laughs> so Anyway, they're behind me. They're going to probably pass me. But anyway, I'm in the uh, rhododendron tunnel. Which is really nice because it's really, 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 really hot today. It's like 75. Anyway, I'll uh, put the camera away so I can see where I'm going. Oh, oh, it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, I met my friend from Toronto coming back down the hill and on Trey Mountain. And uh, her name is Dorothea. I love it. Anyway... She uh, said she'd try to find me on YouTube, so she made my day. It was very, very, very nice conversation. I really, really wish I could see her again. <laughs> anyway, uh, up the hill I go. Reverse J. And then you take it like this. Between, you cross it over the other side. Okay. You make that little loop and... Around both fingers and flip your hands flip over your at hand the same over. time. Right. Okay. Now you go under the long end. Uh huh. Back through that loop, and you get the leaves out of the way, of course. <laughs> we should have moved the leaves first. <laughs> okay. And you've got a bowling knot. Okay. And now the most what is knots you ever? Ever and that, and that's yeah. the one that's going to attach to this, right? No, that's the one that's going to attach to your carabiner. <sighs> no, no knot is going to attach to that. <sighs> okay. All right. All so right, we've got our bowling knot. Okay. And we'll put that into our carabiner. Okay. So now, now I can just keep that knot in there, right? You can keep that knot. No, you sure can. Okay. All okay. right. So I'll never have to worry about it again. Okay. So now we need a rock. I'm going to take all. I'm going to, I'm going to take the. And I did do oh, it around got, my. Got, do I have a rock? Oh, good. I did. Okay. You had one in there already. All right. Well, that's okay. Right. But it's not tied, right? I'm sure. Um, it's tied somehow. I'm going to take it off because it's going to work against us. Okay. It's going to be too big to. Okay. Can we put that in the rock sack? Is it uh, heavy enough, maybe? No, I would do a little more. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so put that in there for sure. And just find ourselves a rock. Put for Charlie Brown's picnic basket, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, here's one. Okay. That, that's, is it going to fit? It's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. We have a smaller one. Let's see. All right, here's a good one. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, all right. Oh yes, we're learning. <laughs> you don't have to film this in between parts. Yeah, I do. Oh, I have okay. to film the whole, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not stupid. Oh, okay. All right. So I have a rock in there. Okay. okay. Now, now you've gonna, attached now we have the. Wait, now we're going to close this bag. Okay. We're going to attach the bag also to the. Um, to. to the carabiner. Okay, so I've got a a knot, and the bag attached to the carabiner. Okay. So they're going to go, they're going to go together. The, yes. the carabiner is going to go up there too. Is yes. that on the other and, side? And the weight is going to pull the whole, th the whole um, operation down on the other side of the branch. Theoretically. Now I did, when I, when I rolled it, I did it like, like around my thumb and around the finger so that it would roll, so that it would run like easy. Oh, oh, when you, when you... When I frapped it or whatever you call it. I don't know what the word is. Okay, so which one are we going to use? Are we going to try that one? The big one or the... Well, I'm already set up on... No, that's way too high. Well, I mean, oh. it's high. You don't have to do it that high. Okay, so not that one. Okay, how far away are we going? I want to use the same branch I'm using. I think we can... Do I see yours? Where's yours hanging? My, my string's right here. It's a string. No. Over my bags in the I don't even see a string. Am I blind? Why don't I? Oh God! Now I see it. Okay. Now I see the string. <gasps> okay. Oh, a little short there. Okay. 
Okay, just make sure the rope is free so that... So that it'll... That it'll... Okay. I missed the branch. No, I got it. You got it. Okay. Okay. So now we, but we're supposed to remember to hold on to the other end of the of well, the thing. But I don't have to worry about this it. This is going to hit the ground before we run out of cord, so you're good. Okay. So I need to bring my bag over, huh? I don't undo anything till I get back. <laughs> I know it's just so silly. But you know, when, like I said, when I had the ursac, I didn't need to do any of this. But then it was so heavy, and I was trying to lighten up because everything I've got is so heavy. <sighs> okay. All right. So now we got the thing. Now, okay. Now you took the rock sack off. I don't want to trip on your rope. Okay. okay. And so then. So now we're gonna put this. One. You have two hooks. Here. No, just one. I really need a second one. I don't want it to rip. And okay. Where those? I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to take this one and feed it through the carrot. Okay. Just right through the middle. Or the other side, or is it? Uh, there's, there's no real side. Okay. I don't know how they work. Just because now we have a lever. Okay. Cool. And you're not. Are you gonna do it PCT style? Yeah, that's what it is exactly. Okay. So I have to. It's just letting it go of the bridge. Okay. So. So. Yeah, there's a pole. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So now, whoops! I'm tripping on something. I knew it was gonna happen. Okay. Now you said. Okay, I need a stick, right? Okay. Okay. This is my stick. Okay, now I want to. We are, we are hiked all the way up to the brink. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay, so we. Okay. And this is the part that I really struggle with. This is the part that's the hardest. Yeah. Okay. And you got to keep your arms up, right? Yeah. Well, we're pretty high. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. And this is the, this is the one that's the clove hitch. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So this one I know how to do by heart. This, so what I have to do is just get it on a rock and get my foot on it. Okay. So now we're not going to lose our. Okay. Tension. All right. So now we need to. Uh, Does it have to be down further? Is it? No. It's it's okay up, up that high. Okay. I'm going to, see. I'm going to stop. Okay. And there's a combination of not feeling all that good and not really wanting to move in the rain. <laughs> I'm filming your fire wave. It's going right at you. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it'll blow out me. Oh. This is uh, the old cheese factory site. When we stayed here last night. Um, met lots of nice people. There's, um, someone's gonna follow along, um, ahead of me and got, um, go up to the Trey Mountain Shelter. That's my next stop. It's only two miles. I don't know if I can even do it. So, anyway, here we go. Well, that's Trey Mountain over there, and um, that's where I'm headed. Uh, there's a shelter about um, two-thirds of the way up, and I'm hoping I can get there. And uh, there's the forward trail. And this is a lovely campsite at a view spot where we can see Trey Mountain, because evidently when we get to the top, there's no views. So anyway, that's the South Mount, or Sobo. And... Uh, Bugs. Here's Leanne's views. I don't know if that's better or worse. Anyway, this is Leanne's views, and there's lovely little, I don't know what kind of trees they are, but they're budding. I don't think it's a dogwood, but anyway, on we go. I'm almost to the top of Tree Mountain, and uh, I get to walk on all these rocks. I'm not happy. Gonna be very hard. I'm at top of Trey Mountain. I made it past 
those horrible things. <laughs> and there's a lovely view on the left side, not the right. This is the campsite just after Trey Mountain. Those rocks were horrible. But there's probably room. A couple hammocks, maybe. And um, maybe three tents. Now the road, the road, the ground is pretty rocky here. But uh, of course, there's no view um, because of the fog. But I'm telling you, the fog has a nice breeze to it. And it's cooling me off. And uh, that's the way I'm going. And um, this is the way I came. And as you can see, I'm tripping over these kind of rocks. And the sticks and everything. It's, this is what the trail is made out of. It's not soft. It's uh, pretty bumpy. And little steps and stairs and big steps and stairs. And, you know, but I'm hanging in there. And uh, I just got a message from somebody that said something about how I was killing it <laughs> so, so that's pretty good pretty good I appreciate the comments <laughs> like and subscribe keep me going eh so you been hiking with anybody or pretty much alone uh pretty much alone well no I uh yeah pretty much alone you know I met uh, Mike and uh Peter today no, oh. they were uh, the, but they were at you for that. Mike and Peter, the top knot, Mike Peter. Uh. Okay, it's filming. Okay, so talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Yeah, I... <laughs> so you you've, you've abandoned me to the woods. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta think of yourself. <laughs> oh. Survival. Of... Survival of the fittest, yeah. <laughs> Have the dead ones, I'll just deal with it. <laughs> I'm okay. So that you won't get any any in there. That's good. Yeah, we're hoping, we're yeah. hoping not. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. more lay this way too. What's that? Oh, like lay this home? way, yeah. You yeah, you could do four people that easy. Yeah. I would think it's squeezed. Yeah, well, I, I bet you there's more people there. Yeah. The people that we'll let them deal with their side? Oh, no. I mean more people might come with tarp. That's true. And what about the, uh, what's your name? The Trail Ridge Runner. Maybe they'll come too yeah, with I a think. tarp. Oh, yeah, true. Maybe. Hello. <laughs> I'm just looking at your stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm new to all this stuff. So I have a BRS stove. So what do you have? Uh, it's uh, MSR. Okay, and it's, okay, because that's the same. It's a pocket rocket. Pocket because, rocket. Yeah. Okay, okay. Pretty cool. Works fast, huh? Pretty fast, yeah. Should be boiling pretty quick here. And what are you gonna eat? Chili Mac. Oh, you look what it looks like. Doesn't look very good. No, but is it good? Uh, it's not bad. I had the uh, beef stew the other day, and um, I, re I really liked it. I really liked it. I mean, like I thought right. I could live on this, but... Um, it was mostly peas, and I don't like peas, and I was really surprised a lot of it. So, yeah, but I'm just filming. I gotta have something to film. Down this, this says it's gonna have light. Yep, oh, good. Okay. So there's the way they're going, and everything's hanging. There's Scott writing in his book, and there's packs, shoes. I'm not. I'm not doing faces. <laughs> and then, okay. So you've got. I guess mine is smaller than that. I think. It's orange. Yeah. Yours is red. This one? Yeah. Is red, right? Yeah, it's like a reddish orange. Okay. Yeah. Mine is really orange. It's a pro something. Yeah. And I... Okay. <laughs> it's drama. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Trey Mountain Shelter. And um, it's going to rain tonight, tomorrow tomorrow night and uh drama is here with stacy and scott is here he moved his stuff he's not with me anymore and uh, he went into the shelter because he can't find a place to hang his hammock and um it's 
windy, but not terribly bad. And I'm really hoping nobody comes in here and uh, tents beside me. 